Thank you. Thank you all for, for coming out this evening. It's, it's quite a turnout. We didn't really expect it. And uh, this is the first time since the pandemic we've buried the Alleluia. So we've been trying to get our ducks in a row here in the last few minutes. Um, but uh, we are, we are, we're, we're good to go. Um, you know, Lent is quick approaching. Uh, and that's what this service is going to kind of get us ready for, is those, those 40 days. Um, to, to shrive is what the, uh, the word shrove comes from. It's, it's old English. It means to, to confess your sins, to prepare your heart um, for Easter. And so uh, tonight uh, we're, we're, we're going to do that. Uh, and um, I was explaining it to one of our servers. I kind of took multiple elements of different Catholic things and smashed them together and made this prayer service. Um, so it'll start off with uh, kind of a, a liturgy of the word. There'll be uh, a, uh, a sermon uh, from Father John, our rector and pastor of uh, St. Christopher in Vandalia uh, and um, St. John in Tip City. He's coming to Salina and St. Mary's, so, uh, you know, this is kind of a, a preview for, for folks from that area. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll move to uh, a, a procession, uh, and we at, at the Shrine love processions. Uh, processions are like mini pilgrimages, uh, and, and, you know, shrines are all about coming to a holy place and leaving changed. Um, and so we, we, we hope that, uh, you know, you didn't just put on a few pounds and you leave a little heavier tonight, uh, but, uh, but you, you leave ready for, for, for Lent. Uh, and then there'll be almost like a committal service up here. Um, it can be kind of jarring. Uh, that is a, a tiny little casket. Um, but uh, we will bury the, the Alleluia, bury, uh, you know, we're not going to dig into the sanctuary floor, but um, uh, bury it in a kind of committal service. Uh, and then um, we will end uh, with changing the, um, changing the, the altar linens over uh, and the devotional candles on the high altar to purple uh, to show that we are prepared for tomorrow's Ash Wednesday services um, in our respective parishes. Um, so we'll just kind of take a moment of silence uh, and then uh, Katie will invite us to begin. Uh, and we'll sing an opening hymn uh, and pray together, okay? Thanks so much for, for coming out tonight, guys. Welcome to Maria Stein Shrine. Tonight we sing our Alleluia's for one last time before Lent begins tomorrow and bid farewell to this friend for the next six weeks. During Lent, the word Alleluia is not said or sung at liturgy. 
Tonight we sing joyfully the Alleluia one last time before we say goodbye for Lent, and we symbolically bury it. However, just as Christ has risen from the grave, so will our Alleluia's rise at the Easter Vigil. Lent offers us an opportunity to enter more fully into the death and resurrection of our Lord, his paschal mystery shared by all of the baptized. The rites of a Christian funeral highlight the fact that although death comes to all, because of Christ, there is resurrection. Life always springs anew. Let us then begin by signing ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who is pleased with the praise of your people, be with us as we prepare for the holy season of Lent. Allow us to enter fully into the fasting, almsgiving, and prayer of the season. Help us to reflect more deeply on your Son's total gift of self. Remind us that even in the darkest of times, when praise and joy seem to escape us, we will again find hope in the empty tomb. For he is risen and lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. It's been a couple years, as Matt said, since we've done this, and typically we have a scripture reading and a reflection, and he asked me what I wanted the scripture to be, and the Holy Spirit just did not give me any particular scripture this evening, but what came to my mind as I was thinking through this throughout the day is, even though that Lent is a somber time, it's a time of us to recollect on our mortality, a time for us to recollect in our sins and the times that we have failed to do what God has asked us to do, it's still a time of joy because we are redeemed, we are saved by the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So it's not a time for us to go around looking glum, and we'll hear that tomorrow in the gospel at Ash Wednesday. Matthew's Gospel, Jesus says, wash your face. Don't go around looking downcast. Don't make it appear that you're fasting. And the whole reason for that is because Jesus is our Savior. Jesus has redeemed us from our sins. And yes, we need to have sorrow for our sins. We need to have a healthy dose of of understanding what our sins cost our Lord, which is his life, but he gave his life willingly for us. And so we accept that, we accept that in joy, knowing that when we have contrite hearts, when we've had that experience of God calling us to change our hearts, to change our minds, to change our lives, to change what is not of God, then we can have joy knowing that the Holy Spirit convicts us of our sins. And the Holy Spirit doesn't just leave us in our sins, but moves us to become fully who God created us to be, to be more fully God's beloved son, more fully God's beloved daughter, to treat each other more fully as brothers and sisters in Christ. So as we enter into this holy season of Lent, where we bury the Alleluia for the next six weeks, may we not just totally give up on being happy and joyful, but may we be joyful because we are redeemed Christians, redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. It's great to see so many people here. Typically in the past, we would have a procession with everyone in attendance, 
but because there are so many of us, it's going to be way too difficult for everyone to process around. So tonight, we will process with the Alleluia, and after the servers and I get into the sanctuary with the Alleluia, then all of you may come forward into the sanctuary uh, for the service of bearing the Alleluia.
For those of you who have colored the Alleluia sheets, if you would like to put them in there, in the casket. Everybody's in. We have laid our eyes on our friend, the Alleluia, for the last time before its resurrection at Easter. With this holy water, we bless this song of praise and call to mind our own baptism. In these next several weeks, as we remember the suffering, the dying, and the rising of Jesus Christ, his Paschal Mystery, we also recall that we have been brought through the deep waters of baptism and share in Christ's Paschal Mystery, leading us one day into the fullness of resurrected life. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Indeed, none of those who wait for you will be ashamed. Those who deal treacherously without cause will be ashamed. Make me know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day. Do not remember the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your loving kindness, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Amen. And please return to your seats for the final prayer and dismissal. Let us pray. O oh God, 
whose only begotten Son was laid in a tomb in the garden. Bless, we pray, your faithful, who have come to bury the Alleluia and prepare to enter more deeply into the death and resurrection of your Son in the coming weeks. When the time comes during liturgy that we recall your crucified Son being placed into the tomb, may we remember resurrection is promised to him and to us. We pray through that same Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This solemn service has ended. Go now and prepare yourselves for our Lenten journey as we recall the suffering, the death, and the resurrection of the Lord. All of us at the Shrine, thank you for coming here tonight and preparing together the Lenten season through the burying of the Alleluia. <laughs>